Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more NHL 18, be a pro, if that's what you want to call it, with Patrick Klein, the worst goalie in NHL 18. I'm just moving my headphones over here, so it balances out my mic stand. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys gave the first series, or the first uh, episode. It means a lot to me, so thank you all so much. Uh, for the love and support, and I want to keep this series going. Don't worry, it is not taking over for dorsal fin. Definitely not. I will probably get out a new dorsal fin probably tomorrow because I'm trying to do dorsal fin like two or three times a week. The reason why I upload that one so much is because that seems to be the most popular series on the channel. So I'm a man of the people. I like to give you guys what you guys like to see the most. So... That is why I upload that like two or three times a week. Same with the Quebec dorsals. That's another big one. Probably my second most popular. So I try and get that out at least twice a week. Usually twice a week. But um, I still got the black eye, unfortunately. Really looking forward to class today. I'm going to be asked so many questions. So they're going to be like, what happened to your eye? And I'm going to be like, I went to the Eagles parade. They're going to be like, were you drinking? I'm going to be like, no, I was not drinking. I just... I didn't drink at all. That was probably the problem. And not alcohol, water. So, I didn't have any water. I didn't have anything. I didn't, well, I had water in the morning a little bit. That was it. But, Klein has not had a, a good game since the uh, the shutout we had. But, we're still on pro. I'm not, ex I'm not sure how this game's going to go. I really don't want to change the difficulty. But, I kind of want to bump the scoring down for us like a tad bit. Unless we just had a really good game, but I highly doubt that was the case. <laughs> so, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. You guys, I didn't really hear anything about difficulty, or at least I didn't see any comments when it came to difficulty in the last episode. So, um, so I don't know what you guys uh, would like to see, but we're still on four-minute periods, by the way. But um, I really want to get rid of that Movember, and I don't know why it's still there. I really don't. Because I've seen it gone gone away for other people, but I have I think I updated it to the latest whatever. I remember seeing some kind of roster or not roster. Um, excuse me, like gameplay update. There's a goal. Oh, I thought that was in. Maybe we'll have a no shot shutout. No, I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, here we go. Probably gonna get some action here. The only thing that stinks about playing this in franchise mode is that your guy can't really grow. You know what I mean? Oh, I saved it. Nice. You know what I mean? Like, that's the only thing that sucks about this. So, oh, well, it is what it is. Like, I was like, it would be nice if you could edit attributes. Oh, man, we had a lot of the net there. You know, because I could say, well, you know what? Maybe if he has a good game, we can get, like, we can bump up one thing or something like that. So, that way it's not too OP. Like, we can only bump up one attribute. Like, make some kind of system or something like that. Or at least bump up his potential. That would be cool, too. Oh, boy. I'm not liking this too much. What's going to happen? Who's going to shoot it? Maybe no one. <laughs> there it is, finally. All right. He's going to get it. Oh, no, he missed. Jeez, I do not like this. I'm actually surprised they've had the puck for this long. Klein, you dummy. Oh, man. Ugh. Good job. I'm disappointed. It's all right. Don't worry about it. That was a dumb goal, though, to give up. That shouldn't have happened. And then he just kicks it in. Add insult injury. All right. Come on. Let's get a goal here, boys. That's why I'm on semi-pro. Because <laughs> I played pro in Be a Pro last year. And, uh, you know, it was still pretty challenging. I actually think it was harder than Superstar. That's just my opinion, though. All right, come on. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Roussel. The players definitely seem a lot dumber, though, on semi-pro. I will say that on both teams. 
they go between the points. Save. Easy save. Oh, no. All right, that works. Pass it out, though. We don't need it. All right. I'm not passing out to get team play up because you can't do that really in franchise mode. Or at least it's not affecting my grade, like my like my goalie's grade. There's no point to keep it in the zone if there's a guy wide open. All right. We need a goal. I'm actually surprised we haven't scored yet. Who was their goalie burn yet? Yeah, that's what I thought. He's having a good year this year. He's actually doing really well. I know he got... Uh, one of the stars of the week, I think, recently. Was he an all-star? Did he make the... I don't think he made the all-star team. I don't know how Price made it, though. He wasn't even... He's, well, at least when he made the all-star team, his stats weren't that good. I don't even think he had a 91 save percentage. I was like, how did this guy make the team? But it's all popularity, you know? I'm sure there's a lot of Carey Price fans out there. He's probably one of the most liked goalies in the league. All right, come on. I'm surprised it's still the first period. This period's going pretty slow. And there hasn't really been a lot of stoppages. Probably going to score there. Oh, there it is. Oh. Had so much of the net. He just got the blocker on it. Oh. Oh, oh here we go. Tonka. Not to get confused with Tonka. Come on. We don't have a lot of time. There it is. Get in. You got to be kidding me. Let's see, are they going to shoot it? Nah. All right. Oh, man. All right, no worries. We're good. We good, we good, we good. All right. One zip. Not a good start for uh, Mr. Klein, but that's okay. Hopefully this period will be a little bit better. Hopefully we get some offense. I need a drink real quick. And then my... uh. My friend wants to play Fortnite when I'm done this game before I have to go to, or before we have to go to class. My boy Mike. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think I saved that. I think that hit the post. All right. That was scary, though. I was a little scared. Not going to lie. Oh, Lindell. All right. That's good. I'll take that. All right. Well, yeah, I also added the lines a little bit. We had like a 75 exact defenseman, and I substituted him with a 74 top four defenseman because, I mean, why not? I'd rather have him play so than the 75 exact. Oh, boy. Get up. Ready. How many shots do I have? Like four? It's pretty simple, Doc. The Avalanche are out the opponent. Hangs on to it. Oh. Oh, get up. Where it I didn't know where it was. I couldn't see. Alright, I think we're staying on semi pro. I think I've uh, made my mind. With that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What time is it? I only woke up like, I don't know, not even two hours ago. All right, we're not having a good game so far. Did that hit the crossbar after I got a piece of it? I think it might have. But that's the whole point of the series. It was supposed to be challenging, you know? <sighs> nice. Pass it out. I don't want it anymore. Can you get it, please? Thank you. All right, 2-1. But I expected to not be getting, you know, superstar performances every game. I mean, after the last one, I was like, all right, maybe this series is going to be a little bit easier than I thought it would be. But I might be wrong now. But the goals we gave up were kind of just challenging, you know what I mean? Like, that first one shouldn't have happened. But, but we had some close calls other than the two goals we gave up. So I don't remember last episode, though. Did we really have, like, have any shots that were that difficult? I don't remember. Here we go. Come on. I'm sorry that I keep yawning. I'm just really, I just woke up, so. And I got a good amount of sleep, too. I slept pretty well. Oh. Poke it. Oh, that works. Oh, get up. 
somehow I got a piece of that. I just want to pass that out. Don't want it. Where's he going with it? All right. Yeah, it just sucks your guy can't get, like, his attributes up. And I don't know if he'll even grow because he's a 42 overall, so he's expected to be an other goalie, like, in the minors. I mean, I guess we... No, I don't want to put him in the minors, but I'm glad we just tied it up there. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it would be cool, like... I don't know if you guys would be okay with that, like, putting him down in the minors for a little bit for him to grow, but I don't know. Because I'm sure he could hit 46, 47 down in the minors. Wow. Look at all that room he gave us. I know a lot of you guys are saying I should change his pads. I was thinking about going with the ones... What's... What, what are the pads that I have? I can't remember if I have the same pads. No, I... I don't know if I changed them. I can't remember. But I used to have the... Um, oh, I thought we had a goal there. All right, come on. But I was going to make them all green pads with, like, white in the middle. Like, the ones I used to have with dorsal fin, if I don't have them already. I, I can't remember what my pads are, though, with dorsal fin. Right, they're due for a goal since we scored. Stop moving around. Nice glove save. Pass it out. Don't want it. Oh, nice. I don't know what 17 was doing. Come on. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Try the easiest save we're going to get all day. Oh, geez. Wasn't expecting that. That would have been nice to get a glove on there. All right, that's okay. That means you missed the net. <laughs> I love when he says that. I saw a video yesterday, though, of a Madden announcer. Madden 15, it was, like, Larry Ridley. He was, like, he, like, cursed. And I don't know if it was real, but, like, my friend was, like, it's fake. I was, like, no, that sounds just like Larry Ridley. And it didn't sound like a gl Like, it, they said it was, like, a glitch or something like that. Like, it said the defense was effing up. And I was, like, whoa. It was in Madden 15. Did I play 15? I think I have 15. I think it's in here somewhere in my drawer. I have a drawer full of games, not very organized, but I remember my best friend's uncle sold this to me, Madden 12, but I only got it because it had the autograph in it, so, of Mar Marshall Falk, who's a Hall of Famer, and I was like, it's worth it for five bucks, I mean, I don't think, I think I looked it up on eBay, and I was like, oh, it doesn't go for that much, but it's all right, I'm so happy I got it. Ooh. I didn't even get a pad on it. Dorsal fin would have made that stop. I don't know what my favorite autograph, though, is in my collection. I mean, I'm kind of... Now, lately, I've been more into photos. But the only thing that sucks about photos is, you know, this, like, display space. You know, like, a baseball or a hockey puck. You know, you can... They got plenty of room. Like, I have... A bunch of hockey puck sign in this display thing right here and I still got room for more so but with photos I have all my photos over here well I have more but I didn't want to buy a frame for some guys I just wasn't sure if it was worth it so but my favorite photo on that wall is definitely my Aguilar but I'm just so mad with how it ended up because it's got like pinch marks on it and I contacted them and I said you know and they're like, the best I can do is give you $10 off. So I got it for 50 instead of 60 So, I mean, at least I have it. It's not like I planned on selling it, but it still bothers me every time I look at it. Because it's like, mm. So I don't, it, it might have been my fault when I was taking it out of the case. Because it was in like a top loader, but I had to put it in a frame. So I know next time if I get a photo that big or just a photo at all, I'm probably just going to keep it in the frame. So I don't worry about ruining it. So... I don't know. Kind of sucks. Nice save, though. I'm actually kind of surprised I made it. How many shots do I have? 13. Well, we might get... Uh, I don't know if we'll get a 90. We only have, like, an 88 save percentage, so at least that's what it was when the game started. But we might be looking at our second win. That's good. But I don't expect this guy to do too well through simulating. Ooh, nice snag. A good stop. I'm proud of you. Making some good saves. All right, come on, buddy. Oh. 
Just wide. I want John Houston back. Or Jim Houston back, not John. Jim. I miss him. He was like the most intense NHL announcer. That should have been a goal. And then the other autos I have on my wall are Giroux, Ghost, Voracek, and Tim Thomas. When I was at this sports shop that I go to, he was selling a Giroux 8x10, which is like the smallest size you usually see. I mean, there's like, what's the other one? Like 6x4 or something like that, but you rarely see that. But, like, 8x10 is, like, the common smallest, like, collector one. And he was selling it for, like, 200 bucks or something like that. I was like, wow, Drew goes for that much? Maybe I should sell mine. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna, I don't like to sell autographs. And if I do sell autographs, like, it would be for, like, store credit or to buy, like, more things of, some of like, uh, stuff to buy. Like, it wouldn't, I wouldn't sell an autograph for, um, you know, like, for groceries or something like that. Or, like, to pay bills. Like, I wouldn't do it as a job, you know, because athletes don't sign autographs to pay your bills. They do it, you know, because they think you're a fan, you know, a collector. I would only sell an autograph, like, if I, like, was going through debt. You know what I mean? Like, if I needed to, like, to support my family or, like, pay for some kind of, like, surgery that my family needed. Oh, jeez. Did I just make both those stops? I just saw the one said making saves, and then I got to see that again. Hold on, because I'm still in shock that I made that. All right, so I stopped. Where did this one go? All right, so that one just hit my... No one really shot that. It just ended up there, and then I did this. Oh, wait. Did I stop it? I Wait, did it hit the post or me? That hit me. That never hit the post. Wow. That was a goal. What a stop by Klein. Yo, he's a beast. We're keeping this guy. He might hit 90. It might happen. He got 100 last game. All right, four to two. Here we go. Let's get the empty netter here. Oh, yeah, but they would need three shots in less than a minute. So here we go. Oh, blocked. Nice. Yeah, but I don't think it's it's wrong to sell autographs if you're going to be buying, like, different autographs for it. You know what I mean? Like, like if I sold a Giroux to get a Nick Foles or something like that, like, I think that's okay. But I don't think you should do it as a job. You know what I mean? Like, to, you know, like, I, I wouldn't do it, you know, if you're, like, if you're wealthy and you're just doing it, you know, for extra money for the hell of it. You know what I mean? It's one thing to sell autographs that you have and you're just, oh man, how did I not make that stop? But it's one thing to just sell autographs like if you just outgrew the hobby, but you're not going to be going out and trying it more and more. I don't think that's really right, but. So let's just say I sold everything in my room, you know, cause I was just, I, I outgrew autographs. I think that's okay, but I don't think it would be okay for me to go out and just like try and get more autographs just to sell. Like, I don't think that's, that's a good thing to do. I know some people do it, but that's why people sign autographs less and less is because, you know, once they see older guys out there, they assume that they're selling them. But it's funny because most of the guys at the Flyers practice, they don't sell them. And usually the guys that have, like, trading cards, like, I don't like getting cards signed. I like to, I like to get, like, photos signed or pucks or stuff like that. Or sticks, if I get their stick during practice, like a broken stick. I only have one full stick, and it's Brandon Manning, and I got that signed. So, I know he's not the best player on the team, but he's, you know, it's still his stick that he used with his name on it and signed by it. So, it still means something to me. So, and then I have a pro, I have two pro rock broken sticks and one signed by him. But, yeah. But I don't plan on selling any of that stuff, especially those, like, sticks. I don't like to sell those. So, well, I've never sold an autograph at all. I've never sold an autograph. I think I traded one, but, and I've given some to my brother. Like, I gave him a Voracek puck from uh, the Flyers season ticket thing because he couldn't go. But I've never sold an autograph. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always... I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Peace.